you mean guarded by anything? Oh yes, the security is so tight. As hundreds of thousands of people gathered in Washington, D.C. to watch the inauguration of President Barack Obama, people all over Jacksonville gathered around their televisions. Today I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are in Orange Park, students in the 8th grade U.S. history class at Lakeside Junior High watched history happen. But know this, America, they will be met. For Jonathan Mercado, the day was an experience he hopes to document for his own children. I'm gonna like put it in like a, a, a time capsule and show my grandkids. That's good. Bury it, yeah, and show my kids. If you've noticed in the election, Obama always wore a red tie or a blue tie. Notice what Michelle Obama's wearing. She's wearing gold. On the south side, students, faculty, and staff at the University of North Florida gathered in the library and talked about their hopes for an Obama-driven future. I was born in Ethiopia and I lived in Kenya and seeing a son of Africa becoming a president in America really touched me. Well, it makes me feel very proud, very, very, very proud. It's kind of indescribable. This election, I think, shows that when people really care and put their minds to it, that we can make a difference in this country and that our votes do matter. Uh, I remember when I was in Ethiopia and, um, and as kids we used to play and we would talk about, you know, where do you want to go? And most of the kids would say, America, America. I never thought that I'd never ever see him being president, at least not in my lifetime, maybe my daughter, she's three. It is really a huge step in our country's history. It's a new America, basically. The idea of him remaking America, you know, encourages you. I really hope that Obama will do the things that he says that he's going to do because I really believe in him and believe that the changes that he will make will be for the best of the country. And I believe Obama would, uh, would remake America and basically be a leader and have great hope. If I knew how to flip, I would probably do a backwards flip for you, but <laughs> I'm not trying to hurt myself. <laughs> and in downtown Jacksonville, the Mary Singleton Senior Center opened its doors to the public, where Mayor John Payton joined members of the community like Willie Mae Holloman Hobbs McKelton, who turned 100 years old just two days before Obama was elected. I chose to come to a place where I thought this election would be the most exciting in Jacksonville, and that is with you, uh, folks that have been on the first hand of history uh, watching this journey of this great president. Elon Musk. To all the other peoples and governments who are watching today, from the greatest capitals to the small village where my father was born, know that America is a friend of each nation and every man, woman, and child who seeks a future of peace and dignity, and we are ready to leave once more. For more Inauguration Day coverage in the Florida Times Union and on Jacksonville.com. Times Union reporters Tia Mitchell and David Hunt, and photojournalist Kelly Jordan are in the nation's capital, while dozens of other journalists are spread out all over Northeast Florida. Look for photo galleries, videos, and blogs at Jacksonville.com slash news slash inauguration. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.